Hey guys, uh, Fuzzy Knop here. Uh, in this video I'm going to cover sort of a uh, definitive guide if you're just getting started out in information security or you're just getting interested in it. Um, you know, I see a lot of people asking uh, pretty often, you know, like, I'm just getting started, what do I do, where do I go? And, you know, that was me not too long ago. And, um, you know, I mean, there's like a ton of resources out there, but I am just want to kind of like put them all in one place for you so that you can uh, kind of see um, a kind of path to take through all these resources that will really uh, put you somewhere that is uh, good. Okay, so let's get started. Let's take a look. So these are mostly going to be free web-based resources that if you just have free time you can plow through them. Um, but this first uh, point that I want to make is that one of the best ways is to get involved. Now, sure, the um, InfoSec Daily has a podcast, and I talked about this a little bit, bit in another video, but um, InfoSec Daily has a podcast. But more importantly, what they have is basically a list of all the um, security conferences and events coming up. So you can look through this list, find one that's near you, and go to it. Um, B-side events are free. Uh, some of these other ones aren't. Um, this is something that will help you when you're looking for a job. It will help you just get it, like, you need to get involved in the community. So step one, start going to events, get involved, whatever, right? Okay, step two. If you want to get into security, you're going to need to know how to program. You're going to need to know basics of computer science. It's just you need to do it. Um, there's two ways to do it. One is to go to school. Go get a degree in computer science. Um, the other one, or the second way, is to do this website. Now, you know, I mean, I, I went to school for computer science, and i got to tell you that you just don't always learn it all. Um, and it's not always really the best uh, environment for learning. But if you're serious about it and you want to get stuff done on this website, it's thenewboston.com. Okay? Thenewboston.com. Go here, go under programming, look at all these tutorials, right? If you're just getting started, go go do this C++ tutorial. That's one of the programming languages. Um, do the C tutorial. They're, they're videos, they're quick, but you can go through them. Um, C++ is pretty, it's pretty comprehensive. This is basically, um, this guy's goal is to replace, like, the need for college. Um, so, so, but if you look, this is going to teach you what you need to know about programming, and it's going to do it by example, and it's it's really good. Um, I can't I can't say enough how good this is. Um, another one you're going to want to pick up and look at is Python. At least get familiar with it. So look, go through the Python tutorial. I mean, it took me I don't know like half a day, and I sat and I plowed through all these tutorials, and it was worth it. Okay, that's the newboston.com. See newboston.com. Okay. So once you got your basics of uh, programming, you need to start looking more in the security side. Now, NYU um, had a penetration testing and vulnerability analysis course, which they also put online. Now, this includes um, different sections of the class, and what they did was video the lecture. So you're basically sitting in the class. Now, you can go through each of these. Um, the exploitation part of it was really good. Um, it's taught by Dino Dizovi, and he really knows what he's talking about. But another big thing to note is, you know, watch the videos, of course, but go down to these um, references and look through these references and read through this stuff. It's just packed full of information, and you will be learning like just everything that you would everything that you would want to know. It's all it's all packed in this one spot. Um, the other thing to look at is under course up here go to resources I think yeah and there's quite a number of things under here um, and also under about this careers section is really good um, overview of the the industry and kind of like tells you a lot of the same stuff that I'm telling you here gives you a list of different schools you may want to go to um, tells you about war games which I'm also going to mention but go ahead and read through that so that website has a ton of stuff too 
and that was pentest.cryptocity.net slash careers or just this part. Okay, great. So, next one. Security 2, okay? Go to this website, click on groups here. This button, groups, click that. Under this groups, now it's not exactly laid out in the most intuitive manner, so I will tell you in the order which you'll need to do them. You can figure it out. Um, Vivek really, he's the guy who made this website, he really kind of like tells you which one you should do. But um, go down here and start with the assembly language mega primer for Linux, okay? Because you're gonna want to know assembly language. This will get you rolling on learning assembly language. You can then go into the buffer overflow exploitation mega primer for Linux. So it's number five and then number six under groups. Um, take a look at number seven. Uh, and basically all of these, you know, probably want to go through and watch everything on this site. He also has a Metasploit mega primer, number three, which is good. Um, and then this exploit research one is, I think, kind of like the last in the series, or maybe that's not correct. But um, so go ahead. There's just a ton of information on security and getting uh, started on that. And again, that is securitytube.net. And then go and click on groups. Okay. Then um, now you start got all this information about penetration testing, buffer overflows, and security and programming. Um, you want to put it to work. So go ahead and head over and pick up um, some information about these war games. Now I have um, some other videos uh, specifically about these war games because they are a great tool to get some hands-on practice with uh, things like buffer overflows. You can figure them out yourself. Now, my videos have a, a kind of spoiler, so I, I encourage you to go and take a look at these um, and, you know, work through them on your own. Okay, so that is smashthestack.org. Next is, under Offensive Security, they have the Metasploit Unleashed course. Now, this is a more in-depth course for Metasploit. Uh, this you can take at your own pace. Uh, Vivix tutorials on Security Tube cover a lot of the same things. Um, but this is another great resource that you're going to want to look through. Uh, just search for Metasploit Unleashed in Google, you'll find it. But it's also from uh, OffensiveSecurity.com. Okay. Another great uh, tutorial website. This has a lot of like hacker type tutorials. Uh, has tutorials, tutorials on buffer overflows, has tutorials on uh, Ollie debug and disassembling, reverse engineering, uh, just, I mean, a ton of stuff. It, it would take you forever to go through all this. And, and really, really good stuff. Um, some of the stuff's not so good. Uh, you kind of have to look through it, but this is uh, another great resource. Not, uh, not too many people know about this one, as far as I know, but uh, there's a lot of good stuff there. So that's Toots for you.com. Alrighty. Then, once you got through all of um, the free stuff, you probably want to pick up some books. I recommend Grey Hat Python. Uh, this hacking book uh, was really great. There's a Metasploit book coming out this summer. Um, if you're into reverse engineering, Ida Pro. Uh, and another book, the last one on Amazon, The Shell Coders Handbook is another great one. And also um, reversing secrets of reverse engineering if you're into reverse engineering. So there you go. Um, that was all of the resources that I could think of off the top of my head that will really uh, take you through. And I suggest kind of going through them in that order. Uh, you know, because if you, if you start in the middle somewhere, uh, you may be in over your head. So start with the basics if you need it. Um, and yeah, good luck.